Hello and welcome. I'm the Restless Kaiser. And I'm Johnny B. But together we are... Modeling, Modeling for Advantage. Advantage. So, you <laughs> went and saw Ronnie and... We went up to Mantic to talk to him about Epic Warpath. Yes. Like when it was just about to kickstart launch. And while we were there, we played a game of this. I mean, yeah, we did. And you did press him into giving us this beautiful While box. he was on camera, I was like, <laughs> me, I want one of these. So, thank you, Ronnie. Thank you very that. much, Ronnie. Um, and I wanted it because it's a decent game. Yeah, we had a little plink up there. This is I'm, I've, I've played this a few times over my gaming career, but I've never actually bought into it, and I don't I don't right, know why. Right, and you've you've had semantic miniatures at different yep, points in your yep, life. Yep. built a few, painted a few. It was like, do you know what? We it's like just, skirmish right. games. We like small scale games. They seem to have a lot of granularity. We've not even opened the box, but we already know. It's great, mate. That's good stuff. Um, okay, so this is a two-player starter box for Dead Zone. Yep. Uh, inside, you will get rules and a force list books. Mm. Uh, gaming map, 11 brave C GCPS soldiers, which are just like you... They're like the corporate runs. police, planetary defence force type dudes, we think. They're, oh, yeah, I they're think not like the They're not like Marines. They're more like local... A little bit below, uh, local yeah. yeah. militia dudes. But they uh, do have some gear. Yes, they are well equipped normally. You get 13 sneaky vehement warriors, which are mm, space skaven, which is also awesome. counters, man. command dice, eight sided dice, mm. not six sided, and a modular battlefield uh, terrain, which is also great. Right, so, you get a wrap it off. The D8 thing, because we had a chat with Ronnie, if you haven't seen the interview, I'll put a link in the thing over there, I think is where it will go. Um, but he said that the D8 thing they use in their sci fi game. Because it gives you a bit more granular, which it definitely does. You've got two more numbers to work with. But you're going to have a much... They're not all people, so you need a bigger range yeah, to reflect them. Yeah, there's aliens and all sorts. Yeah, exactly. So rather than having more modifiers on the weapons or whatever, you have more range on the stats. That's different. Oh, it's not a trait. It's a box inside. This is also one of two two-player starter sets. So if these are not the factions you want, there's another one. Are you failing, John? Oh, you don't want to rip the box. I don't want to rip the box, and there was ah, a really failing. And there is some weight to this, I've got to say. I do like a heavy box. You love it, sir. I love it. So this is a... You smell like we smells like plastic. Oh, it's not so bad. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, my. All in baggies. Um, all in baggies. So, uh, shall we... Shall we toss it out and, and see what we got? You get plastic bases. Uh, you also get some MDF bases. For the giant rat mills, must be which giant Which is what rabbit. these must be. Uh, oh, yeah. Individually wrapped sprues. Yeah, they do that. To reduce damage to one another, I assume. Oh. Resin bits. Uh, that will be the the special weapons and, and the big guys. Uh, sorry. We'll, no, we'll open them up in a minute. Yeah, I think you get a couple of characters in this. Proprietary dice and D8s. The proprietary dice were one of the best things about this game because it was a game played with like six to twelve models or yes. whatever. And you roll a number of these, these are like command dice. And they just give you like extra actions or extra abilities. And there's some of them like the Mantic Splat is something that's faction specific. I found that to be really quite what it, when, genius. When it's all quite procedural, it's like I know you can move two squares with that model. Those kind of things. These things mess with those fixed outcomes because it is a game where a weapon has got a range of three squares and you move two squares yes. yeah. and and this mixes that up so you can plan for that but you can't bank on it yeah and i like that a few wild cards i did enjoy that yeah and then lots of this is their scenery yes and just Fun. quite a bit of it it's very modular it's super <laughs> modular should we oh gosh loads of bags of scenery and That's all then terrain. later, I'm going to show you on the, on the box art, maybe. The gobbins. Is, um, they, they've created a series, and these are the connectors. Mm. They've created a series of extra bits, like signs and panels, that just make it, you know, like shop signs yeah, and, and, and so forth. 
that, that can put a splash of colour on it. The two books. L books. So, rule book, it's skirmishes on Forsaken Worlds. And, and then the armulet. Whoa, yeah. That's... So this is a proper starter set. That's wow. got your... Now, I think there are campaign books after this. Yeah. Yeah, but... I'll pop that there for now. There. There's another base Another round of base that's jumped off. Um, so we were talking we're about... Going. We're still going. Let's look at the other bits and we'll talk about the map last. Ah, tokens. Tokens. Good quality cardstock. Two, three mil thick. Lovely. Lag. Assembly instructions, which is nice. And that is telling you what some of them resin bits are for your vehement nightmares. It's telling you what the different bits, uh, what weapons the different bits of resin right. are. Okay. Uh, yes, it's, it's, it's showing you those. Because I guess if you're not in it, what's the difference between a chem thrower and a heavy ray gun? Well, it's not only you. numbered, it's colour coded, so it does, does show you those things. Same for the CGPS troopers, which is nice. So the last thing in the box... El Playmat, El which is always good considering Playmat. it's... Playmat. Fails to open it. Square-based system. So That's one different. side is the Playmat, which is three by three, two by two. Mm-hmm. What do you reckon? Two by two? It's two by two. Yeah. Two or thereabouts. And you'll see it's divided into squares. Sorry, John. <laughs> you could hold the other end instead of just I could do, but it. it's fun. Um, so you move, so like the humans moved one move, one square, the CGPS guys when we played. They moved one square, two squares was a run or a double action. That's right, yeah. The rat men moved, moved two, two or three. three. Yep. Was the thing. But... It is still a true line of sight game, and that was the thing that I thought made it. So you didn't have to get in with a tiny little measuring tool, measuring around all the bits of scenery, which can be difficult in those kill team type games. Because you're moving squares. But because there's scenery all over the place, exact model placement in the square still matters. Yes. Yeah. And you've got to think ahead as well, right? Yes. Yeah, so you don't, you're not losing anything. It may be that your model only moved one inch this turn yeah, because yep. of the nature. If it was right on that edge of one square and then moves into the next one, barely. But um, it made the movement side of it quicker and it was it, it got rid of that fiddliness, which I, I don't like with, with those small games. Yes, um, you still had to think about, obviously, what you were doing. It yeah. did speed up the process. I mean, the dexterity of the task of oh, measuring round scenery. Not having to yeah. do that was quite the joy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I like that. And then on What's the this? other side, is this is like about? a quick start guide. We actually played with these bits. You might... You, do you recognise these? Interesting though, yeah. How do you... <laughs> Wait, if you cut those out... <laughs> <laughs> and then you can't use the other side of the map. No, but I think this is for playing your first game on. Oh, yeah. It there's, literally tells there's you. A, there's a reduced map size on the back, and it's got stats. And so this is this is literally the game they take to show us as demos. It's got all the basic information about the game and the basic stats for three models and a reduced map size. I like that. I like that. That's I, really good. I like that a lot. Yeah. Fearman, this is like CCPS, deployment slot. Boom. All the different rules. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. What they'd done in store is they had a regular three by three, a regular full size map, and they'd cut these bits out mm, of this. For the reference, yeah. 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 That's, so that's, I like that. That's a really good idea. Considering that, it claims and, it is a starter box, right? Yeah. So. And, that, and that absolutely is a your first game. Wow. I think that's great. All right. In terms of the stuff here, um, let's open up one of these packs that looks simple so we it? can show them what we mean by the modular nature of the terrain. And they're quite varied. Maybe just one of these walls packs. One of those which are mostly walls. Yeah. Where did I put the Knife of Doom? The Knife yeah. of Doom. That looks like four squares. Let's do, do this one. one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the idea is these are going to fit on the squares on the map. And they're the same size, and I think that that's critically important. Oh, I used a knife and still failed. Use the knife and still failed. So look. Ta-da! Their scenery is designed perfectly for their game. And it's all going to be kind of made out of... Right, so we haven't got the connectors in. They're in a different bag. They so. are in a different bag, but I don't think we should play around with that. <laughs> no. But we can show you, we can kind of illustrate the point 
that you build these kind of cubes of scenery mm. and you're going to stick the floor panel on the top. Hopefully they're seeing this. Ta -da! Yeah. Either way, I'm sure we've got pictures of uh, Yeah. So, um, and then in terms of those scenery, there's these little connection points for which you get a big bag full of these connectors um, to attach them. But they're also, they've got 45 degree tapered edges. And I think you're going to use that more. Well, the idea with the connectors, the initial design of this was so you could obviously pull them apart and redesign your things. Yeah. I would not suggest doing that. I would glue it all together. Yeah, glue it together. Use it for support and to get the sort of right angles and yeah. structures. But yeah. Yeah. Chamfered and, edges, boom. And this isn't resin, this is hard plastic. Yes. And there's a, there's a lot of this. And then this one is scatter scenery. There's like ATMs and things in there. You've got some gangways and planking, r more roof looking tiles. So this is. A bag of rubble. Yeah. Barrels, ladders. There's a. There's balustrade. A decent amount of scenery in there for a 10 model game that's going to be quick to assemble. It's going to work perfectly with it. So should we have a look at one of the sprues then? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's have a look at the sprues. We mentioned the tokens, I think, as we went. It's decent hard there. plastic. Yeah. You do need them. It's a skirmish game. You're going to take damage. You're going to have you're going to have environmental effects on the table, like this tile is on fire or whatever. You will need those. This objective is mine. This that's, tile that is stuff. on fire. And they're there. <laughs> Indeed. So what's this? Is this the CGPS? This is one of the CGPS. Which will be your factions, sir. Which will be my family, humans. If we do that. What's in the tiny baggy? So a tiny baggy seems to be the legs, randomly. Oh, the legs Isn't are separate? Legs on there? No. They're, okay. There are All no right. legs here. Fair enough. You get little baggy legs. Man, they're like my little legs. They're all skinny. Five pairs of legs. Beautiful. Oh, they are literally a bag of legs. Yep. They are literally a bag of legs onto which you add the guys. So the chest is the chest piece is this single piece. There's like a there's like a vented backpack here. There's a whole bunch of heads. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then there's no, five sorry. like trooper heads, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight unique heads. Yeah. I think Seems it's to be. Is the way these five are identical. Certainly, sorry, aesthetically. Yeah, you got one, two, three, four, five. I'll put that one in there as well. I think it's got a slightly bigger like, lens. I a little, slightly yeah. different. That's obviously your boss with his big camera. Yeah. <laughs> and you've got one, two, three, four, like five heads and stuff different like helmets. Yeah. And then two bare heads. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Get all your pistols. Plenty of arms options. Little yeah. comms pack. Oh, nice. And lots of... You get a whole bunch of rifles there. A whole bunch of rifles. And... The, the there was a special weapon you used in that game. It was a, a flamethrower. Flame thrower, so I wonder. Yeah. That's why I'm wondering which one of the is is the flamethrower. But that right is why you have the destructions. destructions. Was it this one? Yes. Flamethrower is number three. Yeah, that's. It took us a while to realise. Sorry, yeah. These are rifles, <laughs> which do look very similar. Yeah. And these are heavier weapons. Yes. Yep. There Such they are. Heavy. They are oh, there. very much there. So that's the CGPS, and they're like, as you say, you, you human dudes. Let's open this back, and what's this? Resin Vermin Hero. Mm -hmm. So um, Mantic's kind of philosophy, uh, speaking to Ronnie, is the, you know, and, that, and that's uh, not just now, but, but, but for the future, is that they're going to make try and make as much as they can of the kind of core units are going to come on hard plastic spray. The thing yes. you're going to need a lot of. Very much. But where you want an improved quality, enhanced fidelity, they're going to use resin. Resin is not an uh, easy material to work with compared to hard plastic, but it does work tends to often work better for, for, for medium, bigger size models. This isn't super heavy. That's really light for a resin. Yeah. It feels really yeah, light. Yeah, this, re this resin formula is quite different. So there's obviously a lot more cleanup to do with resin. If you've not worked with resin before and you're getting this stuff, you, you want to watch. You want to watch some other people's videos about working with resin. Yeah, um, it, it can be quite fibrous when you cut into it. It's going to react differently to the tools. You need to use a CA or super glue rather than a plastic glue. Those things won't activate it. Um, but the the fidelity on it is it's good. Crisp. It is. It is good. 
it is good. And it, and a lot of people's problems with uh, resin historically, with the, the nightmare of Citadel Fancast, it's a quality control issue. It's a big part of it. That stuff is being sold to you that should never have left the factory. There that, are occasions of that, yes, for and, sure. And, and looking at this, this is it looks not... Looks okay. This, this is not our problem. At a glance. Yeah, yeah. But it is a more complex modelling task. Yeah, compared to plastic, a lot more no clean up. That. But it is a nice looking model. Nice and big. The, and I, I don't think you get this kind of these kind of details on the plastic. I don't think you could. It would be soft, I think. Where with the red, when I say sorry, when I mean soft, like you mean it'd be thin, rounded, yeah, just not particularly, um, yeah, yeah. So that's the Vermin Hero. What's the other one? Uh, I think this is the component pieces for weapons. Oh no, it says resin GCPS Hero. Ooh, should we have a look at him then? See what the human looks like. That's good. Yeah. Well, you said like you know. <laughs> And I guess that's the stuff that like, GW for a long time have done in metal. And now they make individual sprues because they're rolling in money. Um, <laughs> rolling in money. So what we got here, that's... He's in a lot more of an action pose, isn't he? Yeah. Random, weird half torso. I think it's a piece of terrain. It's a lady, didn't you know? Is it a lady? I Is that what so. they're standing on? Yeah, mm. there's a... Someone yeah. so it's not a tactical rock. It's a tactical. It, it's a tactical corpse. corpse and it looks like a corpse. Just armor. It might just be armor. You know. Might just be I think armor. It's safe. It's not a corpse. Uh, not. And is it a lady? Yes, it is. It certainly it seems to be. It does look to be perfectly in scale with the others. It's not too big or too small. No, it's pretty much identical size, which means the heads should work if you wanted. You know, if you ended up with oh, more than yeah. one of these. Yep. Uh, so that that's nice. That's nice. Cool. Um, so it not being as heavy as a lot of the resin I handled. One of the one of my greatest fears with resin is dropping it and it shattering into a million pieces. Mm. You know, there's all the like, resin tanks and so forth. But this is much lighter, isn't it? Yeah, I'd like to think it's that would be formula. beneficial. It's lighter. Its, yeah. 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 To its, to its long term survival. Yeah, in to your its collection. long term survival yeah. for sure. Um, so that's that's nice. That's nice. Very nice. Very nice. And then the books. Then Let's get away from me. I'm gonna look at this. The rats in space. Oh, look to the rats in space. So we got have we got two sprues. There's two separate sprues. You got your grunt dudes. You got your grunt Which dudes. Should we open one? Yeah. 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 Ooh. Well, you can open as many as you like. You're taking them on and painting them, John. in space. Painting them. Yeah. They're not space chickens in space. That's a cartoon. That is a cartoon that your son was very much into, right? He was very much into the theme space tune. Space chickens in value. space. There These we go. These are not space chickens in space. These are space, space rats, rats in, in space. space. <laughs> and they're not saving the universe. Uh, legs are on this sprue. I'll yeah. have you know. That is that look. That feels like a newer sprue. Yeah, it must it's be. just a lot more dense, and the pieces are a lot deeper. It's quite a confident sprue, that. Fermin night crawlers, you know, because the nature of injection molded plastic, mm. you'll see on, a, on normally on a sprue things are, ve are pretty flat, because it's because of the way that the material runs through the mold, yeah. um, and uh, under not that much pressure. Whereas there's actually some depth. There's, there is depth to that. There is depth to that, which is unusual. Must be new. Are they crisp? They're they little, are they're crisp. Little, they're These look. All right yeah. to play with. You've got your torsos, legs. You get separate tails. Don't know how I feel about that, but they but do are they look... socketed. Y yeah. Mm, yes. Yes, they are. You have a little butt plug for them. <laughs> you got a little. <laughs> you got, you got your <laughs> weapons the back, yeah. on there. So we don't get actual. It's not resin arms, is it? No. 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 I think we've seen you... all the like the the the, the sprue. With That's the what it was and These look assumed. like a whole bunch of weapons, yeah, and it's, it's not, not it's the arms not. and legs of the heroes. These look fun. Space rats! They look easier to build than these. And I'm just looking at when I Little saw the arm. Ball joint arm. How, on yeah, this. the ball joint arm has got a has got a lot more flexibility than other options. I actually like the old space marines for the uh for the ball and socket. The little arm yeah. Yeah. Bibble. Yeah. So you could you could articulate <laughs> that that otherwise. It's just a shame that all the arms were like that. <laughs> <laughs> so that that? And we've got different faces. I mean, they're all yeah, rat men. Yeah, you get masks. space rats, mate. Space rats in space. With masks, gas masks predominantly. And, and this very big gun. There is some quite chunky weapons on there. There are some big weapons on there. Flamers, weird little ray guns. 
Is it because the sergeants are beefier? We'll know that when we play the game. Mm -hmm. Or at least look at the books. That's when we'll know. Yeah. All right. And then you've got the... You the, get, like, ogre dudes. Uh, rat rat ogres. And they call them... Big rats. <laughs> Big rats in space. Uh, are they nightmares? Malignus, maybe? No, that's still a small one. Oh, that's... This is that your first game. You know, oh, it's a play it's a not, game with three models on a It's not comprehensive destructions, it's play the game. Um, yeah, right, it's easy. pretty Huge. easy though. I don't think you're going to mess these up. Again, massive torso. Mm. Where are their legs? Oh, they've got baggy legs. They've got baggy legs. Baggy legs. Massive arms and weapons. These but are they're like still five. plastic, right? Four, five, six, six heads. Um, yeah, I think so. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. They're the same plastic, but for some reason... They don't quite a, fit on the sprue. No, design choice. So you get them in a separate baggie. I mean, it's all it's all here. It doesn't matter. It's just strange. It's I've, I've never had this before. So I, I don't know whether, like, Mantic get... There's another sprue of just many legs. No, I think they keep it simple. I think it's just... No, but how have they had these made? Oh, yes, then. <laughs> so a sprue of many days. <laughs> is there a sprue of that if you bought like a box of 40 of these guys you get it would be you get a load of these and then a sprue of many legs <laughs> but then they say because this is a starter set it's not an army set mm. they've had to cut those legs they've baggies. cut those legs off for yeah that's you. a good shout actually i'm, I, I'm guessing um, so I, I still don't ultimately understand <laughs> why but for whatever reason that's the way <laughs> it is reason so and, and most of them seem to have one of these extra little baggies deal with it look Right, so a quick look at the... Quick books, show. books, books. Books, books, books. Force so. lists, rules. So rules, in a decent starter set that's properly priced, you're going to get a full rule book. And you've got a rule book here. And that's good. And the rules are nicely laid out. They're in full colour. Uh, we played this game a couple of turns with a handful it's of models. Only because you absolutely wiped me out. Yeah, and uh, we're only playing play with three models, yeah, though, right? Yeah, three models. The game was pretty understandable. You have a stat line that says, "I shoot when I shoot, my character hits on threes because I'm good at shooting. And then you have a gun that says you roll two dice for damage or whatever. Yeah, there's not an excessive stat line, and most of it's not really modified at any point during the game. What gets modified is the number of dice you roll. Yeah, and I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, because it, it, it kind of keeps the numbers in your head a bit mm. more, I think. Um, you, and you're not calculating twice. Yes. Which is often a problem with those with those kind of games. It's like the number of shots that you get varies, and then the, num the, the, the number you need to hit on varies. This doesn't. This doesn't do that. So you got to. So I'm looking, I'm looking I believe it's a full rule book. I have every reason to believe yeah, it's, a, it's a full rule book. But there's obviously there's there's campaign sets be... as they've developed their rule set because it's been out for a while. Yeah, and they've got all those scenarios and bits of box. Yeah, yeah. I think scenarios and things. It's just randomly the enforcers, but yeah, forces. But book. is it is it the main, all the main factions in there? Then seems to be Marauders, Maze, and Labs. Yeah, mate, that's good. Does it tell me? Have a look. You like Have a look in the contents page. There you go. It says, Asterians, Enforcers, Forge Fathers, CGPS, Marauders, Maison Labs, Nameless, Plague, Rebs and Vermin. So it is not a reduced army list. Now, this game has been, again, it's been around for a while, several editions and mm, so forth. Yep. There may be other factions which require another book because when this book was produced, that and faction didn't them exist. Out, yeah. But this is often the kind of thing that you have to buy immediately. Is go out and buy your faction book or whatever. Yeah, or and individually. To game, to the point. This starter set has got the models that you need to get started, the scenery you need to get started, the dice you need to get started, and a codex from which you can expand your forces if you want to try and get another ten guys and build up from there. I like the fact the factions are unequal. You get big fat rat men, <laughs> and I don't get big fat <laughs> dread naughty dudes. You know, so there's a, there's a bit of asymmetry can develop in you. So you look like you could play, you know, your first five or six games from the box. Just out of these. And then you know whether you want to spend more money. I like it. That sounds like a starter set to me. Like it a lot. So time recording, 95 quid starter set. Look, it's not cheap, but it's cheaper than, shall we say, comparable skirmish games from other companies. And it's much more comprehensive yeah, as a starter be. set. Yeah. yeah. Well, is this enough scenery to play with? I'd find it hard to believe that it isn't. This feels like you're going to cover half of your board 
with the amount of scenery that we've got in here. And it's a game because the it modular nature of it, yep. it's got height to it, and that is important. Very good start set of, from what we know so far, pretty decent game. Yeah. Hope that was useful for you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Bye bye. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description, but a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you.